Hello equestrians and adventure fans. My name is Alyssa and I am on a quest to ride every breed. There are hundreds of different horse breeds and each one has their own unique story. So saddle up and join me on a ride to discover the horse. We're here in New Zealand, and in this episode, we're gonna meet New Zealand's heritage breed, their only wild horse, the Kaimanawa. Just met up with Tommy and LaSalle. They were waiting on the side of the road for us because the driveway that we're heading down does not have a number. My name is Tom Tukutai Wara. Um, we're here on family land. Been here for God just about all my life. And I, yeah, muck around with horses, do this, do that, you know. Like all this land around here, it's, it's all like a big corporation, but belongs to the Māori, like to our tribe. Yeah. So we're all shareholders, but my cousin lives across the road, and well, that was his grandmother's, this was my father's. So how did you get started with horses? My father used to always have horses on the farm here. A lot of their work was done with horses. Like if you have that fence over there, you can see a lot of old battens. Yeah. And they're all from probably here that my father did years ago. And that's how a lot of them used to make a living. It's just putting posts and battens. And they always had horses to pack them out on. So we were riding when we were kids. Yeah. First one up got the best horse, you know. <laughs> like the way they used to do it, well that's, I sort of carried on with that tradition. But then after a while I sort of realised, you know, because they were breaking the horses, and they were breaking them, breaking their, their spirit and everything, you know. And then I thought, oh no, that must be an easier way. So just started doing things different and yeah, so simple. Real simple. They became a tutor, I became the pupil, you know. So, yeah, so you learn so much off them, and yeah, and they'll tell you when they're ready to move on. And Clyde Manua horses it, and I got on really well. When was your first experience with one of them? Clyde Manua? Mm hmm. Oh, I'd been out there before, but um, not doing stuff like this. And then, um, 2014, I was approached to have a go at this Wild Stallion Challenge. That's when I really got involved. We were all given two stallions to break in. You didn't pick your stallions, you just uh, drew numbers and when they mustered them in, they uh, numbered all the stallions and you just drew a number and then you got whatever number. And my two turned up and uh, yeah. That had to be amazing to go, you know, to go there's these wild stallions and then because you were probably the first person that touched mm, them mm, and yeah, communicated yeah, yeah. with them yeah. they are really really clever really clever and they're good to work with it's like you've got a new sheet of paper no one's no one's done any, any stuff with them you got to make sure everything you do is positive my motto is the more time you spend on the ground now the less time you're going to spend on the ground later and then once, once I was on their back, I used to bring them down here and just spend all day down here, and just in and out the trees, in and out. Do you know what happened to the two stallions that you worked with? It's one of these. You see the gray one? Yep, that's the one you'll be riding. Oh, awesome. Where are we right now? Because we just walked into this beautiful forest. <laughs> it feels yeah, really this... cool in here. This is um, yeah, just down the bottom of my place here. This is where the horses live down here. I think you have some pretty lucky horses. <laughs> yep, yep. Like they're still free here. Yeah. Yeah, they're still free. So this is what I was telling you about with um, Dad and them. These are the trees they used to cut down. Wow. Then split them in, cut them into lengths like post links and that, and then packed them all out on horses. Yeah, you can see where they, where they um, put their scarf in here, put their scarf in, and they put planks out here. 
planchette here that they stand on with the old cross cut saw. It is a beautiful morning here at Tommy's place. The birds are singing. Miss Piggy is around the house over there. There's lambs. The horses are here. And today is gonna to be a really fun adventure because we're heading out for a ride. Teone came from the 2014 muster and participated in the first Kaimanawa Stallion Challenge. Temperament-wise, I've, I've heard the Kaimanawas are really, they bond with you because they've lived in the wild and they've relied on each other in their herd for survival. Yeah. I love the wild spirit about it. Um, it's more the New Zealand story of uh, these horses were set free and they've they've survived a long time they've become really hardy and they're a perfect choice if you're wanting to navigate terrain like what we're seeing today are you ready for your first discover the horse adventure <laughs> i am <laughs> i'm so excited yeah this is really cool so you'll be riding yeah. ed today right? it is a quarter horse so i'm also taking off a brief <laughs> yay. yay high five well done Let's go for a ride. All right. We just climbed, you can see Tommy's house down there, wee down there. And we didn't really take the easy route up. There is the driveway, which is also pretty steep, but we just cut down through the woods and came up this steep hill here. And the horses just, just charged right up the hill. It was great. <laughs> and what a view from up here just like seas of green. The horses actually spend the day grazing and they head back all the way down to the bottom to get water. So this is literally their home right here. Taimanawa horses originated from Exmoor and Welsh ponies that were released in the late 1800s. Over the years, other breeds, including thoroughbred, Arabian, Standard Bread, and Clydesdale were mixed in with the herd to create the horse that lives out in the wild today. They can vary in size, with the average range being between 12 2 and 15 hands. They can be any color, and all patterns and markings are acceptable. Horses from the wild have been successfully competing in a variety of disciplines, including show jumping, eventing, driving, and endurance. Wow. Every direction you look is beautiful <laughs> and very sheepish. Yeah. <laughs> to apply to purchase your own Kaimanawa from a muster, you can head to kaimanawaheritagehorses.org. What would you say horses mean to you? Uh, your best mate, really, you know. Yeah, they're everything. Yeah, they've, they've been with us all our lives, yeah. They're your best mate. I agree. <laughs> yeah, they are. And they're only as good as you. 
And I think they give us that opportunity to to reflect on who we are. Yep, that's what they taught me, was how to slow down, to listen, you know, uh, yeah. It's not a race to get there. I've never been in New Zealand before, so getting the opportunity to explore New Zealand on horseback, especially on such a special horse, has been a great experience. Since the Stallion Challenge, where Tommy first met Teone, he has continued to be a part of promoting and protecting the Kaimanoa horses, and he has also become a trustee on a board of an exciting new organization in New Zealand. We started Te Hapuru Hoiho, the Māori Horse Association. Our um, trustees are, are from all over New Zealand. So it's just about helping, teaching, and just to hand our knowledge on and help them along. So yeah, it's just pretty cool. Sounds like a great mission to me. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the ride. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you at the next breed.